First race of the BMW IBSF four-man bobsleigh World Cup at Whistler in Canada. Drama in the first heat for Germany's Christoph Hafer. A good run down the track, no crashes, but also no breaks after the finish line. Tobias Schneider hauling for all he's worth. The sled simply not slowing, going straight by the finish dock, off the end of the concrete and into the parking lot. Luckily, the team were okay. Austria's Marcus Treichel is having a good weekend here. He had a good weekend a couple of weeks beforehand in the North America's Cup as well. But this crew together for the first time, starting strongly in fifth place after the first of the two heats and having a good run as well. Dropping behind, but finding speed lower down the track to reinstate his position ahead of Johannes Lochner, the Olympic silver medalist in four-man. Marcus Treichel guaranteeing himself a career-high top five finish. In the four-man, as in the two-man, a top four on the line for Mikel Vogt and his crew, Alan Nusa, Silvio Weber and Sandro Michel. A couple of little mistakes early on in the run for the Swiss, but again, producing the speed where it counted, lower down on the track, and clawing back the shrinking advantage over Marcus Treichel. He was 700s in front from the first heat, and Vogt just about kept his head above water. 400s quicker on the second run than Trichel had been to extend his advantage, but would it be enough for a medal? <laughs> Top three were covered by 1500s of a second. Silver medalist in the two-man, Brad Hall and Lawrence Taylor, joined by rookie Aaron Gulliver and resilient brakeman Greg Cackett. A great second start and a really smooth drive by Brad Hall comfortably quicker than anybody else in the second heat and faster than the leader had managed in the first run as well. Hall was flying. He thought he'd had a chance to pass Francesco Friedrich in the two-man. Now he was determined to give it everything in the four-man. Coach Graham Richardson hugely impressed by the effort. He was targeting victory over Francesco Friedrich, but Friedrich wasn't the only sled remaining after Brad Hall. There was Taylor Austin from Canada. This new crew with Shaq Murray-Lawrence, Cyrus Gray, and former Brazilian pushman Davidson de Souza rocked up and took second fastest in the first heat. He knew he was under pressure from Brad Hall, but the motto of the 2010 Canadian team in the Winter Games, own the podium, still remains at their heart, and he did indeed own a podium spot. Brad Hall would collect at least a silver medal, at least a bronze for Taylor Austin. And, depending on what happened with Francesco Friedrich, what else might happen? He'd only been a tenth ahead of the Canadian sled from the first heat, but Francesco and his crew pulled out an even faster second start. And then France went to that special place when he really needs to produce the goods and drove absolutely superbly all the way down the track. Near flawless performance on a track that he still struggles to get the best out of. But nevertheless, a 50.57 run, the fastest of the competition, tying up his 41st career four-man gold with Brad Hall taking silver, Taylor Austin the bronze. And it is still Francesco Friedrich they all have to beat.